My name is Tony Nyaga. I'm co-founder of Strauss Energy. Uh, we manufacture roof tiles and integrate them with uh, solar cells so that you don't have to uh, put a roof and still put solar panels on top of it. So you get it right the first time. Um, in addition to that, we use air compression for storage, which uh, instead of normal batteries, which are limited in terms of use, usage, lifespan, as well as in terms of energy capacity. Uh, our, com our compressed air energy storage actually gives you uh, like three-phase power, just that you don't get a power blackout for the next 30 or so years. Yeah. And it gives you water as well as a byproduct instead of fumes like other generators or yeah, so it's also good for your for your environment. So where did the idea for the startup come from? So this is a school project. It was uh, my master's final year project together with my classmate, who's my other co-founder. And uh, which university were you at? Sorry. The University of Nairobi. Okay. Yes. So in the mechanical engineering department. Um, so two. When I was in engineering school, I got two disturbing thoughts. The first one was that uh, the whole world, I mean, the sun right now, this moment as we talk, Russell, is it can power 3,500 Earths. That is mind-boggling, you mm. know, like the amount of sun that actually heats the ground. Yeah. The second fact was that over 70% of the people in Africa still do not have access to energy. Mm. So those two dichotomy, uh, the, 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 the dichotomy didn't fit yeah. well with me because how is it that we have such a big solar resource, so much energy? And being in Africa, mm. being in Sub-Sahara, in the tropics, we actually get the most insulation, mm. yeah? Yet we're the most energy poor. So these are the two uh, set out to sort of like marry the, res the big resource together. and the big problem, see so whether you can solve the problem, yeah. And the idea was to actually, th wherever sun ray, a sun ray falls on, we can actually generate electricity from it. So today you'll see my bag, my backpack has a solar panel. Yeah. We'll do it from glass, we'll do it from the pavement, we'll do it from, the, the roof really yeah, was the easiest. The roof was the easiest because first uh, people are used to seeing solar panels on the roof so yeah. it's, it, it will not be such a far-fetched idea so it will be accepted. Um, and so what are the two price points for okay. somebody as a householder to buy the solar roofs? So the two price points we have is the, the, the roof and the storage yeah. and the models pricing model is that you can actually pay it once off uh, or you can uh, pay like a normal roof yeah. and pay small monthly payments less than what you would have I ideally paid for your electricity yeah. but we make it consistent so that you know what you'll need to pay the following month yeah, yeah. and the air compression storage unit yeah how is that different from a battery it's different in that a battery is a chemical process to keep and that's why after two three years mm. you have to throw away the yeah. batteries which is another problem for the environment yeah. but the bigger problem is that you have to buy other batteries which is yeah. a bigger problem to your pocket our hydraulic system is mechanical it has no such limitations of like you'll ha it will you'll use it for 30 plus years mm. okay and secondly, it does not have limitations in terms of, because batteries, they tell you you can't iron, you can't bake, you can't heat yeah. water, you can't, many you can't, yeah? But for this, for the compressed energy storage, because of the mechanical nature of it, yeah. it's robust. So you can, it can take, if you want to, whatever it is you want to, it, it's industrial use. Yeah. You can use it to run heavy machinery and yeah. all that without. And it has a byproduct. And as a byproduct, which is clean water, clean pure water, yeah. So how many uh, which units it gets from that. So this we we have just sold the first uh, unit, and that's the one that will actually now propagate because people need to see some of these things. Yeah. They don't look real, you know. But but yeah. when people start seeing <laughs> them yeah. working, then that's when they start uh, using them. So what the just imagine a like a gen a genset a generator. Yeah. You need. 
diesel or petrol. Yeah. Think about you have to keep buying diesel and petrol. This you use the air. <laughs> atmospheric. Yeah. Then the generator releases fumes, which I mean carbon footprint and all that and just makes the environment dirty. Yeah. This gives you fuel. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've only got you've got one unit so, yes. so far. Yes. So what are the, what are the sales plans for the So we we're planning like the, 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 the housing. We have a housing unit that we're doing over six hundred and fifty houses yeah. uh, this quarter of the year. Next year we will do over 11,000 houses, so if you count about five houses, consider a unit, yeah. between five and ten houses, yeah. there's a unit. So these are deals that uh, we've worked on, so this is the progression plan. Yeah. And have you had investments in the company yet? We have had uh, an angel investor, in addition to our parents of course, yeah. <laughs> we also have had an, an angel investor. And we've also had uh, some grant funding earlier on from yeah. the USA Development Fund, part of US, USAID. Okay. And, uh, but now we're actually working to bring in the first uh, round of yeah. uh, seed what, investment. What scale of money are you raising? So we, we're starting with $2 million. Yeah. Uh, that's what we are finalizing on right now. Uh, but moving forward, seeing the size of projects that we're doing, uh, we, we're looking at in the next three years, uh, it will be significant uh, amounts in, in excess of $100 million. Yeah. But the first money is the $2 million is equity. The rest, it will run on, on just debt. Yeah. Yeah. And the question I forgot to ask you is, yeah. is, what does the roof and the air compressor storage unit cost in dollars? So the air compressor and the roof, let's say a typical you see, the, the air compressor will take care of between five and ten houses. Yes. So if I would divide it, say, if, if for example, it's about 40,000 for ten houses. Yeah. So that's about 4,000. And the roof is about another 5,000 okay. dollars. Yeah. So, so just under 10,000. Just under 10,000. 